I didn't have like horrible, horrible sweating. Like no one was ever like, um, why are you sweating so much? But it was something that made me uncomfortable and I am like a really nervous person and I get anxiety over everything. So that kind of didn't help. And it just, I don't know, it just, just getting Botox for sweating has made my life so much more comfortable. So honestly, I think it's completely worth it, even if you're not good with needles or anything like that. It's, they're like tiny little pokes. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along the whole process. So let's get started. Okay, so we start by putting on some numbing cream that will sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then this is just me being really nervous for those 20 minutes, just trying to relax. Hi, I'm Dr. David Mashadian from Rodeo Surgical Art, located on the beautiful Rodeo Drive. We have the pleasure of taking care of Gabby today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Gabby has uh, some underarm sweating issue, and uh, she has asked me to treat her with Botox for the for the underarm sweating. This is my second time doing it, and I'm like the least spray person ever. So if I can do it, then anyone can. Um, I didn't die the first time, and it was so worth it. It lasted about six months. Awesome. Last time I had the pleasure of taking care of her. This time she's sharing her experience with you guys. I hope uh, you uh, learned from the video. If you have any question or concern, you're more than welcome to contact our office and uh, ask myself or any of my friendly staff any questions that you may have. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little about the procedure. As you know, Botox uh, is used for wrinkles in the face, but it has many other indications. One of the amazing indications is that it helps you with the underarm sweating. Uh, previously, we prepared her underarm with a little bit of numbing cream to just give her some comfort. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to sit her back and we're going to use some Botox to uh, treat the area. Most people don't even need numbing cream, right? Yeah, most people just use some ice. And uh, it's, uh, it is a little bit uncomfortable, but very manageable. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to sit you back. Uh, Are you comfortable like this, Gabby? Yeah. Can I have a squeezy one, please? Yes. All right. So you have the two squeezy balls. This helps with the discomfort. All right. Next, what I'm going to have you do is just bring your arms just like that. Excellent. Or right, just uh, prepare the area with some alcohol, cleaning the area. Okay, yeah. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to be doing great. All right. So let's go ahead okay. and let me try this. If you like, we could maybe also ice it. Is that all right for you? If it starts bothering you, you let me know. And we could also add the ice. For the viewers, I'm gonna just stand back a little bit so you can see how the injection is performed. This is a very small uh, needle. Uh, it's used for insulin injection for the diabetic patients. So the tip is very, very fine. Are you okay? Yeah. We're just going to give you a little break. Okay, you can bring your arms down. Very well. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side for the treatment of the other side. Okay, we are back. We're going to be treating the left underarm area. We are finished with the right side. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're all done with this side as well. That was really fast. Yeah, how was it? It was fine. I didn't hurt you too bad? No, I feel like it hurt even less than the last time. Yeah, that's good. Gabby, tell me about your experience. What do you think? How it was, was it? It wasn't bad at all, and it was really fast, and I feel like it hurt even less than it hurt last time. 
awesome. Mm -hmm. So happy to be able to take care of you. I think you. you're a fabulous patient. You're gonna have great results. I feel like I'm the worst patient. <laughs> no, I think you're a fabulous patient. You didn't even flinch. I'm so proud of you. I think the combination of numbing cream, uh, the ice, and the level of trust that she has with me, I think that really goes a long way. Uh, so, as you know, the Botox doesn't work immediately in the area. It's going to take about 7 to 10 days. Last time it worked immediately. Worked immediately. Yeah, like okay. the next day. Wow, that's mm -hmm. unbelievable. But generally, I usually advise the patients that they don't get disappointed. It may take about a week before you start seeing the difference. And the results uh, varies between patients. It can last anywhere from 4 to 12 months. And uh, as uh, we, you and I have discussed, if you keep on it, uh, you come back before it, the effect completely is gone away. Uh, the, it actually increases your interval for the treatment, which means that the medication lasts longer. Uh, again, I just want to thank you again for letting me take care thank of you, you and share your experience uh, with the world out there. Uh, if you have any question or concern, please visit our website at www.rodeosurgicalart.com and uh, you may also call our office at 310 652 uh, 4,500. You can also check us out on social media. Um, glad to be able to share the video with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.